So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a cheeky little chutney. Now this is gonna rival anything you can get from the supermarkets, that I promise. And it's super versatile, so you can use whatever veg you've got available to you. So this recipe is super simple. It's all about preparation and getting organized. Now all of the weights I'm going to give you are prepped weights, so that's after the vegetable has been peeled. Now you can make this as chunky and rustic as you want, or you can obviously cut things very carefully and make it refined. So we're going to kick off with 125 grams of carrots that have been peeled and roughly diced. Then 125 grams of cauliflower. Now I'll probably just dice up the stalks and then break off the florets. Follow this up with 125 grams of diced celeriac. You could use swede if you wanted to. And then 250 grams of roughly chopped white or red onion, doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna follow this up with 125 grams of green apple that's been peeled, cored, and diced. And I'm just gonna pop this into a bowl with the juice of one lemon. Give it a quick turnover. That will just stop that going brown. So now we're gonna build the chutney in the pan and I'm gonna start with 130 grams of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna follow that with 300 mils of dark beer. You could use light beer if you wanted to. 50 grams of malt extract. Now this adds a great malty flavor that works perfectly with the beer. Now it can't really be subbed, so if you don't have it, leave it out. But I will leave an Amazon link in the description. Follow that up with 80 grams of tomato puree and then 100 grams of unsweetened dates that have been pitted and roughly diced. 100 grams of light brown sugar. And then in with a spice mix. And this consists of one teaspoon of ginger powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of mace, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of salt. And then finally, 200 milliliters of water. Now we can add in the apples along with the lemon juice and then the rest of the diced veg. Give everything a good stir to make sure it's well mixed up and then we're gonna pop this onto the stove on a medium heat. Right, we're gonna bring this up to a simmer, making sure that we stir it regularly and that all of the sugar has dissolved. Now once it's simmering, you can turn the heat down just so it's gently ticking over and then leave it to cook for about one hour. Now during this time, the vegetables are gonna release their water and then the mixture will start to reduce and it's gonna become darker in color. Now you need to let the mixture reduce down so that it's a thick consistency, but still saucy. Remember that the chutney will continue to thicken as it cools down and even more so when it's refrigerated. Now this chutney took one hour to cook to the right consistency. Now while the mixture's still hot, you transfer it into a sterilized jar, making sure that there are no air pockets. Seal the lid and let the jar cool down at room temperature. Now this makes enough to fill a one liter jar, and I generally leave this out to mature for a couple of weeks, and then crack it open and store it in the fridge afterwards. Now a big shout out to Brian. He suggested this pickle video. I hope this one helps, mate. And if any of you guys have got any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get round to them. But for now, a huge thank you for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Stay tuned. Bye.